Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot uh, forecast for the week of November 14th through the 20th. Before we jump into the forecast, I just want to give everybody the quick update. We are now at 39%. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you very much. And now on to your forecasts. Hello there, Virgo. Thank you so much for stopping by. Your first card for Monday is the Ace of Cups. This is the beginning of something that you really enjoy. This can be somebody that you meet that you think, oh, I'd like to get to know them better, whether it's as a friend or um, possibly more. This can also be um, discovering a new hobby or discovering just something that you really enjoy and that you really like. This could be discovering a new movie that you think is fantastic and then you proceed to watch 23 more times within the next month or something. I don't know. But it is finding something that you really, really enjoy. So that is Monday. Tuesday, what we have is the Five of Clubs showing up in reverse. The Five of Clubs to me is a competitive situation. People are being creative. They're trying to accomplish something. But even though they're trying to accomplish something, everybody's kind of going in different directions with this. So this project isn't getting to make any headway because of so many different directions coming out of it. Um, if you catch yourself, you know, in this situation where this is kind of competitive and not really going anywhere, you've got a couple of options. One is to sort of get everybody on the same page. And the other is to get out of the situation before it saps all your energy with no results. Um, typically, whenever this card comes in in reverse, I would say your best solution is to vamoose, get out of there, skedaddle, while you still have energy left for something else. All right, so let's look at Wednesday. Here you've got the magician showing up in reverse. The magician in reverse just means... I'm picking up a couple of meanings off of this. So the Magician in Reverse can mean feeling really frustrated about trying to get something accomplished, um, having some obstacles coming up and starting to feel like, oh, am I ever going to get this done type of situation. And this can also mean um, maybe this is a, a evening for some of you when you thought things were going to be all sizzling and hot and you were going to be all excited to see somebody. And instead, you're just kind of looking across the room at them or across the table at them and going, mm, maybe not, <laughs> type of thing. So uh, it can come in either way for you, Virgos. There you go. Let's look at Thursday. We've got the Five of Swords showing up. Whoops, let's get rid of the screensaver. Okay, so Five of Swords showing up in reverse. Oh, well, you got the Five of Clubs and the Five of Swords in reverse. I don't think I've seen that before. So Five of Swords in reverse is being the peacemaker in a conflict. This is actually a better card than Five of Swords right side up. Five of Swords is calling you to be the peacemaker. There's something going on where you can see conflicts going down. You can see both sides of the story. You know that it's going to be ugly. <laughs> you can see it coming three miles away. And you are... Um, the person that's kind of running interference here, like you see this disaster about to happen and you're trying to head it off, just being called to be that peacemaker. So I do see you trying to play peacemaker on Thursday. I keep wanting to say I do see you guys becoming the peacemaker on Thursday, but it keeps coming out. I see you guys trying to. I see you guys wanting to. That's what just keeps coming out of my mouth. I have to kind of assume from that that... Uh, it's not an easy deal and may not be successful, uh, but I do think that you're going to put your whole heart into this effort. Looking at Friday, Page of Coins is what is showing up here, and the Page of Coins is just telling me that you are getting some kind of good news about money or about material goods. Excuse me. <coughs> this could be that you take something to the Antique Roadshow. I don't know if that show is still around, but for an example, take something to the Antique Roadshow thinking it's probably worth about mm, $2.50, something like that, and they tell you that it's worth, you know, $2 million. This is uh, good news about money. Now, that's kind of an extreme example. It doesn't have to be that good. This can be um, just finding out that you got a raise. Um, this can be finding out that somebody wants to take you to dinner and they want to pay for it. 
There's a lot of different ways that this can play out, but some kind of good news about money or about material goods. Okay, so let's look at Saturday. Here we do have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords tells me you're taking some kind of action on Saturday and that this action has to do with um, either enjoying or standing up for something that you believe in. So um, I'm hearing pleasure. Uh, for somebody, I'm hearing cruise. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but definitely doing something that is um, in alignment with how you think. It's something that you enjoy and that you um, approve of and are happy with and uh, not quite sure how else to explain what I'm feeling here. But this is it's something that you don't have any kind of disagreement with. You don't have any kind of argument with. You're happy to be doing um, whatever this is, is what it feels like. But taking some kind of action on Saturday, and it has to do with, um, it has to do with something that you're very much aligned with in your life that that you appreciate and that you value. Okay, so you'll have to figure out exactly how that's going to manifest for you. But let's look at Sunday. Here we have the Three of Cups that shows up in reverse. Three of Cups, you've got some kind of friend that's just getting on your nerves. For some of you, this is somebody who's more than a friend. They are actually a blood family member. And they are, they have good intentions. I feel that they have good intentions, but they just, ugh. they don't know when to be quiet and when to talk is what I hear you telling me. <laughs> For some of you, that's what's going on. Um... But this is somebody, I feel like they are maybe trying to give advice or to be helpful in some way, but it's just not really working out all that well. And yeah, you're getting, you're having a hard time not being really snarly about it on Sunday. Okay, so that is your week, Virgo. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I will see some of you back here for Reiki sessions, some of you back here for readings before the next one. Everybody else, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hello, everybody. This is Amista. And I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before. Completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training and I've gotten level one and I've gotten level two. And I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um able to do reiki for themselves and i'm not able i'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until i become a reiki master and so i was looking into a reiki master program and i meet all the qualifications as far as that goes i've been accepted into the master program but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber 
donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you see how you're feeling that type of thing um, anybody who donates anything more than $50 what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars so say you donate $50 then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said all of the help any of you can send I know not everybody can send not everybody will want to send help um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly quickly otherwise I would probably have to wait I don't know six months a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate and um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well so thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.